do you feel about Putin? How do you feel about Putin? Well, yes, he is our sovereign. Putin, you are the servants of the devil. Hope me. This is the sin of the end of times. The mother of God will not abandon us. Lavra has been captured. But he is killing Ukrainians. That's not him, that is God's joy. The people have turned away from God. What do you want from them? If you want this war to stop, you have to repent to visit the church and pray to God. And now I need a little drink. That's what I thought. Holy Dormition Pochev Lavra in the Ternopol region is a source of Russian peace and the outpost of anti-Ukrainian forces. Okay, Lavra, Chernobyl region, that is, but it's called in the deputies' bill. On facilities rent contract termination in Lavra, which was subordinate to Moscow not a year ago. We came here to see what local folks think and how this process can be legally provided. Women are forbidden to wear short skirts, shorts, or pants. Women need to be feminine, not to serve the devil. She can't wear pants that is devilish wear, and she can't wear makeup. But it's cold. You think our ancestors were not cold wearing skirts? Remember Rule 62 of the Sixth Universal Assembly. Who are you? Romance. Read that rule. If a woman wears such clothes, she is forbidden from queeros and from visiting church. You serve the devil. But, yes, you do not serve God, but the devil. But it's bad to say so. I did not say that. Those were the holy fathers of the Sixth Universal Assembly. Man and woman cannot expose their bodies and tempt the others. Nowadays, women are so much exposed and are tempting the men. Marianne Pizza, romance journalist, info signs often are repeated in Russian, as well as sermons are delivered both in Ukrainian and Russian, and ministering is done in Russianized Old Slavic. Collateral is 50 rivnias, and I cannot enter without one. You have to wear a skirt or a dress. So it is mandatory. Each monastery has its own rules. Stylish. Red. Just at the entrance to Lavra, the guard pointed at the print of last year's decree of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate. It said they do not support Russia here. That assembly attendees disagreed with the Patriarch Kirill, who supported the war, and changed the regulations as if they were separated and independent. Glory to Jesus Christ. Are you from Pochev? What? You come here to pray from afar, or you live here? No, we live here. And what do you think of the Parliament's bill to terminate the rent contract on these facilities? Says who? The Parliament is considering the draft law to evict the UOC from here. God will protect us and the enemy will fail. But then it will be Epiphanes Orthodox Church of Ukraine, Okir. No Virgin Mary will not let this happen. What good can I say? Nothing Christian, for sure. They say the Oak already created a parallel structure and appointed an alderman, Nestor. Have you heard of that? I have. That makes me sad. That are the sins of the final times. But what are the consequences of such actions? God will make them regret. Regret that deeds lead to no good. I am from Horla Hudinetsk region. You ran here from war. I did. Why did you choose this place? What makes it so special? You know, for one who believes, God and Virgin Mary help those. Our son had problems with walking, so we prayed. 
And as for now, he can walk again. Despite doctors told otherwise, do you know that Parliament is considering the bill on rent termination? Will you still visit the church if it will be ok here? People go here to talk to God, not the denomination. So no difference to you. Exactly. It's all political. I have no interest in that. I go here to God and Virgin Mary, not the politics. Will you go here? No. We were born to this belief, we will die to it, and we will remain loyal to it. That is the orthodox belief. But if rent will be terminated and Oak will come here, will you be visiting? No. Definitely no. My mother brought me here for baptism when I was a baby. So this belief is mine. We cannot change it. When I was born, there was nothing. They took it fully abandoned and restored it. What do you want from them? This is my opinion, and I guarantee that folks support it. Those who are true Christians and truly profess Christianity. There are many religions. Nobody oppressed anybody. You can go to O, oh, Greeks, Protestants. That's not right. You have to have some respect. Glory to God. Can I ask you? Apparently, no. Last November, the Security Service of Ukraine conducted a search in Poche Theological Seminary and reported loads of anti-Ukraine literature, as well as Russian passports of diocesan structures, high officers, and in January, Kremlin District Court fined seminary principal 8,500 rubnias, around $230, for inciting enmity. That was the anonymous Facebook profile which posted Russian propaganda. They do not support Muscovites. I do not believe that. You know how much literature was left from Soviet times. You can find anything there. I bet they do not know what they have. I'm with Lavra. But what if rent is terminated? Will there be some mass riots? No, there will not. Just a lot of people will stop visiting the church. And you? I will be outside praying to the cross. Glory to Jesus Christ. You have to praise God, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Okay. Glory to God. He is not divided. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all are one. Were you born here or did you move? I was born in Kiev. And by Virgin Mary's blessing, we moved here. The elder told us to go here and seek God's blessing. I was born in Kiev, and she cursed the region of Russia. And how are you doing? Considering the war, why war? We want peace. My Christian name is Irene, which means peace. We do not need this war. God sent a man for living here and in heaven. Then why did the war start? Because men have become lawless. The sins of men flourish. White rust, great rust, little rust, the honor of the Holy Trinity. Rust at the end of each three states, great rust, Russia, white rust, Belarus, and Kiev rust. Rust was baptized, not Ukraine. <laughs> when Volodymyr the Great baptized rust, there was no Ukraine. And Putin says that Ukraine was created by Lenin. What do you think? Lenin and Petlira named it Ukraine. They wanted to eliminate all priests during the October Revolution. How do you feel about Putin? How do you feel about Putin? Well, yes, he is our sovereign, Putin. He and Patriarch Kirill and Zelensky mispronounced Zelensky rules the Kievan Rus, and Archangel Michael told to obey the authorities, and people don't. When Yanukovych was president, even little children screamed, we do not want him. Oh, I can't. 
Just a child, and already against the authorities. Whatever. You say you consider Putin the good guy, but he launches the missiles that kill children. Not that's God's deed. You know how he can punish for lawlessness. Angels will send such arrows, whole world will blow. For lawlessness, for disobeying, everyone will suffer who was against Yanukovych. So Putin is not accountable for this war. God gave him such right, his power is from him. Archangel Michael said so. All power comes from God, girl. But he kills Ukrainians. Not him, that's God. Those are his arrows. In the past, there were so many wars. When lawlessness crossed the line, God's arrows struck. I tell you once more, White Russ, Great Russ, Little Russ, the honor of the Holy Trinity, they were always together. Ukrainians became too proud. We do not want this. We want to be free. We do not want to be with you. And they parted. They ran away, submitted to the EU. And now the Greeks cannot leave the EU because they have no freedom. But Russia did. If you do not want us, you can leave. It gave freedom. What do you think caused the war? And what is your attitude towards Russia now? Our sins caused. God punishes us for going against his word for 100 years. 100 years. Since the Tsar Nicholas, I was crucified and people left the church. All the churches were destroyed. All priests were killed then. So many priests died. People turned against God. This is God's punishment. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are Alive. Either we are alive here or we are with him, but for to him all are alive. There are no dead. But there are so many victims in Ukraine. How long will this last? Why is the Lord so merciless? Lord, have mercy on us. God is love. God never abandons us. It's we who abandon him. We abandon him. We do not fulfill his commandments. We do not live by God's law. But maybe Putin is to blame for the war. Everyone should repent, go to church, and pray to God to avoid war and arrest Putin. God will handle Putin by himself, and he will direct us. Everything is God's will. First, for the Lord to have mercy on us, all people must repent in confession and not take away our churches. If they take away the churches, it will be even worse. Do you have no anger toward Russians and Russia? If a person has evil inside, they are the servant of the devil. They do not serve God, because God said in the gospel to love one another. He did not tell us to go out and kill. In short, everyone needs to study the gospel well and live by the gospel. But how do we reach them so that they stop killing us? Great. Ask Lord, have mercy on us. What if the Americans, like the Germans, want to seize the Ruse's lands? When has Kiev ever been American? And it was not the baptism of America, but of the Rus. And in general, I don't understand anything at all. Please forgive me. Do you pray for Patriarch Kirillo? Of course, he's my patriarch. This is the authorities. We obey the authorities. Are people still praying for Kirillo during services here or not anymore? I don't know. How do we know? Maybe they pray for him in their minds, but they don't pray in a voice anymore, right? And I have to hear loudly and without fear. And they must be praying for him in their minds. How do we know if they are praying or not? Many people don't understand what's going on at all. Thank God for everything, child. Stay with God. May God send you a guardian angel. My mother is from the great Russ, and father is from the little Russ. Anachronistic. Now derogatory terms for Ukraine, denoting Ukraine and Russia. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Believe that God is with us. They're taking over the Lavra. They're taking over the Lavra. Children, are you following us? Have you been assigned to be our guards? This is not vote. Do not lie. And God cannot be mocked. There was persecution. Just think about it. Who was persecuted under Soviet rule? 
people who persecuted him. The Jews, you are behaving in a very unpleasant way. What? We gave well. Who gave you permission to hit the camera with a pen? That's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. How do you know so much about who took what in Lviv? Glory to Ukraine, glory to the nation. Glory to Jackie Chan. Glory to Ukraine, glory to the nation. Mora, glory to Jackie Chan. Whoever does things wrong will be punished by God. What else do you want to say? That you are inadequate people. Why are we? And you are adequate. Everyone can pray to whoever they want. We are in independent Ukraine. Where is independent Ukraine? We want to pray in the Ukrainian Orthodox Church. What's the difference? Where do you see an independent Ukraine? In Lviv, all the churches were taken away. The Kiev Peppers Lavra will soon be taken away as well. We were unsuccessful in obtaining permission to film inside the main Assumption Church. I went in by myself, without a camera. I was not allowed to take pictures, a guard was constantly following me and making sure I did not take out my phone. What I was most interested in was whether there were still announcements there that they did not accept donations and prayer notes from, quote, unbaptized non-Christians, including Greek Catholics and dissenting believers of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine. If I go to this church, I will not take prayer notes to the Orthodox Church of Ukraine, and I will not take it to the Greek Catholics. But this is a shrine that everyone wants to visit. If they walked with a sincere heart and soul, the church would accept their notes. You need to know what kind of notes you have and what they mean. This is just a distortion of facts. And tell all your girlfriends that in order to become women, they shouldn't wear pants, put on makeup, dye their hair and manicure. Because manicure is the devil's clause. They must be married. They must not fornicate. They must fulfill the commandments of God. They must fast. Before the revolution 1917, if there was any trouble, a woman, a mother, would fast. And do you know how she fasted? She ate only bread and drank only water. I say this so that you know what kind of women lived in Holy Rus at that time. May God give you many years of life. Give us all peace and love, Lord. While Poche and Lavra, they rave about the prospects of the vision of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, the Orthodox Church of Ukraine has already begun the process of registration on the territory of its monastery. By analogy, as it was in the Kiev Pekers Lavra, a new prior, Metropolitan Nestor, has already been appointed. However, he is currently in Chernobyl and has refrained from visiting Poche so far so as not to stir up the situation. Nestor Pisic, Metropolitan of the Orthodox Church of Ukraine, we understand that so far this is a matter of the future. As long as these agreements are not terminated, as long as there are no premises for which we could apply, as long as we don't have a monastic brotherhood in the monastery itself that could take care of these shrines, then at this moment it's more of an honorary position, an honorary title, than the actual position of the head of the Poche of Lavra. De jure, there are now two priors at the Poche of Lavra. Yes. When was the last time you visited the Poche of Lavra? A few years ago, I can't say for sure now. Do you want to go there now? Of course I do. What's stopping you? But in what role can I go there? If I go there as an uninvited guest, there will be no use in that. If I go there as a pilgrim, knowing about these new decisions of our synod, I think there will probably be certain obstacles for me to just come and pray. So I'm just waiting for some changes to take place, and then I can go there with a reason. The Verkhovna Rod has already started the process of terminating the contract. Will this decision of the Verkhovna Rod be enough of or should it be an appeal to the government as they plan and simply termination without courts so that the lava breaks off relations with the Ukrainian Orthodox Church? It is too early to talk about terminating the contract until we know the conditions under which the Moscow Patriarchate Monastery uses the premises and the territory of the Poche of Lavra in general. In fact, the situations in the Kiev Pekers Lavra and the Poche of Lavra 
Europe are very different. Because before the Kiev Pekarsk Lavro was leased, it had been a museum. So all the property was accounted for and transferred according to the inventory. Therefore, now when the contracts are being terminated, we know for sure what the Moscow Patriarchate must return to the state in order for it to remain a Ukraine shrine. And what should remain after their eviction in general. When the agreement on the use of the Pochayev Lavro was signed in the 90s, it covered only the premises, roughly speaking, only the walls. And the balance sheet value of the Pochayev Lavro is 1,200,000 Wafrox, 32,500 US. And if we simply terminate this agreement now, they have the right to return only what is specified in the document, that is, only the premises. As for the relics, icons, vessels used for worship, all the historical values that have been collected there over the centuries of the Lavra's existence, they will have every right to take them. Because this property was not accounted for at the time of the transfer. Therefore, in the case of the Poche of Monastery, one cannot simply to shoot from the hip and terminate the agreement, as this will create many problems, in particular for the state. When we talk about the Poche of Lavra, surely before the contract is terminated, a state commission should be created to determine, using some old sources, what property was there before the Poche of Lavra was transferred to the monastery and what the representatives of the Moscow Patriarchate should leave behind when they are obliged to leave. You know what? I will answer you with a quote from the Bible. Jesus Christ said that such times would come, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must have it. So is the interview over. And now we need a shot thought, as I thought. Journalist Mariana Pizza, videographer Ivan Coral, video editing Mishro Chali, Paul Martinik, editor Alexander Nazarov, producer Kostya Nekiparenko.